How's it going guys, it's Yugi Boy TCG, and we have a big Ghost from Past opening. I finally got my um, displays that I've been waiting on. So we can finally open quite a bit of Ghost from the Past. Uh, I obviously got some of those Meyer ones, so I was at least able to open it for you guys early, but everyone seemed kind of delayed if you weren't getting it from the store. Even like my local card store was delayed getting it. So it's kind of unfortunate, but at least we have it now. So let's get started. Let me actually put this off to the side. I need more room. Let's pull them from that. All right. Obviously, um, that Dark Magician is still the most valuable card. And obviously, the values are changing on these cards kind of daily. Except for really the Dark Magician, it's kind of stayed pretty standard. But, like, the BLS was more expensive than the uh, Blue Eyes for, like, a little bit. And then now the Blue Eyes is back to being more expensive. So, it's really just, it just changes. So, obviously, we're looking for any of the Ghost Rares. I'll take any of them. Uh, I will not be picky, but if I had to pick one, obviously, it'd be either Dark Condition or Blue Eyes. Or I really like the Black Luster Soldier card a lot, too. Um, not a huge fan of the other two, but they're still Ghost Rares. So, we have a Time Thief Perpetua. Uh, Heretic Seal of Supremacy. Starry Knight Astel. Sunvine Maiden. And Arm Dragon Level 10. So, I thought this card would be worth more than it actually is, but it's pretty common, so... Ended up not being super valuable, even though I did sleeve it up in one of the videos. But, all right. So you got Tackle Crusader, Buster Dragon, Miss Valley Baby Rock, The Monarchs Erupt, and Evenly Matched. So that's a good one. I think it's like a $15 card, if I can remember right. Something like that. I think the... Last time I checked, Remus was still the most expensive Ultra in the set. So, hopefully we can pull some more Remus. And then I really would need Red Supernova Dragon. have not pulled one yet. So, hopefully we can get those. So, Xyz Burst, Update Jammer, Hoyo Zenryu, and Starry Knight Flamel. And that is a display box. It's a lot of packaging for three cards, but they do look awesome. That's not, there we go. And I actually tried to find more of this while I was waiting for these to come in. I can't find it anywhere, except for at a card store and they're charging astronomical amount of money for these things. Where if you can find them at retail stores, like 15 bucks, so they're really not bad. Hopefully, we can still find some more because now buying display boxes, they're ridiculously expensive now. So we're going to start with a Cosmo Dark Lady, a Salvage, a Time Thief Bezel Ship, Time Thief Retrograde, and a Dragoonity Abra Behira, I think. Man, I will say this. I was watching one of Ruxin's videos, and I, I he kind of agrees. Like, there's just... The names on some of these cards are just, they're so crazy for a kid's game, you know what I mean? I know it is more targeted for adults now, but still. Um, Sun Avalon, Dry Days, Dragoonity, Oblite, Heretic Dragon of Esset, Metal Foes Fusion, and Starry Knight Arrival. I don't think I pulled this one yet. Uh, maybe, maybe I have. There's a lot of Starry Knight cards out in, in here, obviously. can't remember all the ones I've pulled. I don't think I've pulled that one. I don't remember it being worth anything though. Also, mass change. I don't think this is worth much either, but I don't I don't know if I pulled mass change. Uh Meta Doce, Fresh Sistart, Gear Town, Metal Foes, Volflame, and Time Thief Double Barrel. This one's a little more valuable. I think it's about five dollars. Not bad. So on to the next one. Now, obviously, when this set first was getting announced, I thought the Ghost Rares were going to be more like, I thought it was going to be like more like a maximum gold set. But obviously, that wasn't the case once they announced there's only five ghosts 
in the whole set. And I'm like, oh, maybe it'll be once. One per display box maybe, and then we thought maybe one per case, and it's not even that. So the the rates are really insane on these. So we got Heretic Seal of Supremacy, Heretic Dragon of Tefanui, Heretic Sun Dragon Overlord of the Heliopolis, Sunvine Healer, and Heretic Sky Dragon Overlord of Heli Heliopolis. Just a tongue twister. Probably some of you guys out there that say these with no problem, but I have a trouble saying them. So we got Time Thief Flyback, Hoyo Zen Ryu, Cosmojo, Sunsea Genesis Loki, and Dragoonity uh, Legatus. So we have Black Luster Soldier Pack. Maybe we can have some really good luck and pull a Black Luster Soldier. Like, obviously I want the Dark Magician, but I really like the look of that Black Luster Soldier card. So we got Dragoonity Phalanx, Mass Change, Royal Prison, Backup Secretary, and Dragoonity Whirlwind. The only thing that really scares me about the, um, is that the last one? Oh yeah, okay. Got confused for a second. The, the one thing that really does scare me about pulling the Dark Magician is everyone I've seen has been damaged in some way. So, now, if you pull a mint Dark Magician, when it when PSA finally reopens, or at least doesn't charge the $300, I think is what it is right now, to get a card graded. Once it goes back to the normal prices, um, it should be more, uh, it should be a really, really expensive card. We'll just have to wait and see, though. But again, I think, I think PSA 10s are going to be really hard to come by. So we got Metal Foes. Gold River, Time Thief Flyback, Laval, Volcano Handmaiden, Fairy Tale Tales, and Shooting Star Dragon TGEX. I don't think I've pulled this one yet. I think, isn't this the support for uh, Star, Stardust Dragon, I believe? Right? It definitely looks like it would be. So I'm pretty sure that's Stardust Dragon support. Right? Yeah, yeah, I think it is. But let's keep this going. We got another Black Luster Soldier pack. Please come on. Give us a Ghost Rare. Starry Night Blast, Heretic Dragon, King of a Tomb, Time Thief, Reoder, Redoer. Oh, Dragon Thunderbird. Haven't pulled this yet, so that's cool. And Starry Night Ceremony. I literally have not pulled one red Supernova Dragon, and obviously it's not a super expensive card, but I'm also like, I really want to pull it. And I also haven't pulled the Meteor Dragon card either, that, that Red Eyes Fusion Monster. I've not pulled that either. I know it's super easy to pull, but I've not pulled it. And then I'm not sure if I've pulled the new Necroz card, if I've pulled Necroz yet. I'm not sure. Uh, Metal Foes Counter, Miracle Synchro Fusion, Metadoce Chateau. Salomon Great Falco and Time Thief Adjuster. Is this one worth about? I think it's worth about five dollars, if I'm not mistaken. It might be worth nothing, but I'm gonna leave it. I don't think I pulled that one. I think it's worth around that price. I'm gonna pull some of these out. So under the last for this mini for this display box. So the luck, this has been a really bad opening so far. We really haven't pulled, besides the evenly matched, it's been kind of meh. So hopefully we can pull something better in these last couple. Because I had one where, I mean, it, it technically wasn't a display. They technically could have mixed it up. But I went to my local Meyer and bought basically two display boxes worth. And I pulled three Remuses, and I think they were out of the same display box, but it's hard to tell. Obviously, they could have gotten mixed up. So we got Metal Foes Fusion, Dragon Knight Draco Acquisite, Time Thief uh, Perpetua, or Perpetua, Heretic Seal Supremacy, and Laval Salamander. Is that worth something? I'm going to set it aside. I don't think I've pulled that one either. Is it? I mean, there are a lot of cards in this set. There's also, you like, get a lot of duplicates. And I think I have... I, 
I don't know if I pulled that Siriu card. I think I have, but I'm not positive. I've watched so many other people open. I'm starting to like get mixed up with what they've pulled. Uh, Starry Night Estelle, Sunvine Maiden, Tackle Crusader, Buster Dragon. Oh, Red Supernova Dragon. Finally. We finally pulled Red Supernova. It's like a $10 card. So it's not really worth much, but I wanted to get one for my collection, obviously. I'd like to get a play set, but that's not looking too likely. Um, maybe I'll have better luck in one of these other boxes. And I still have not pulled that Meteor Dragon card that I want. So hopefully I can pull that. So we got Miss Valley Baby Rock, The Monarchs Erupt, Sun Avalon Dry Ice, Xyz Burst, and Dragoonity Legatus. So no Ghost Rares in there. We're going to open up another one. So this is going to be a longer opening, obviously, because we have a lot more to pull in here, or a lot more uh, product. And I've been sitting on this, trying to like getting ready to actually have time to like open this many packs. And I've honestly been just cannot, couldn't not wait to actually finally open up these display boxes that I've been waiting so long on. So let's get these open. I really regret not buying a case, even though a case wasn't guaranteed a suit. I don't know, a ghost rare. I should have bought a case because the prices were not bad. Now they're you know insane, but they were not bad when they originally. Because I think I paid because I bought them off simply unlucky um, when they were uh, going for pre-sale, and I think I paid like sixty nine ninety nine for a display box, which is insane now because like now they're like up to like 150 or 130 depending on who's selling it i've seen a lot for 150 i've also seen some for 130 but again it's a really really expensive product now i should have just bought a lot more of it because i know like ruxin brought three cases i believe which is insane and there was a couple other guys that bought like tons of cases of this and it definitely was worth it for this set. So we got Salaman Great Falco, Metal Foes Fusion, Dragon Knight Draco Equisate, Time Thief Perpetua. Oh, there we go. Meteor Black Comet Dragon. So not worth anything, guys, but I really wanted to pull it just because I think it's, the artwork is really sweet on this card. So I probably shouldn't have even sleeved it up, but I don't care. I really like that card. Wish it would have been more valuable. Wish it was more like meta, so it actually has some value, but it's whatever. Still a really cool looking card for my collection. So we got Heretic's Heal of Supremacy, Starry Night Estelle, Sunvine Maiden, Tackle Crusader, and Laval Salamander. I'm gonna set that one aside again. I should just leave it up, but I don't know. I don't feel like wasting sleeves if I look up and the card's not worth much. So we got Buster Dragon, Miss Valley Baby Rock, Monarchs are up, Sun Avalon Dry Ice, and Team Thief Adjuster. This one I do know. I think it's worth about five or six bucks. So let's leave that. We got some more sleeves just in time for another display box. Or not display box. Another mini box. Please bring us a ghost. I know we didn't buy a ton of products, so we shouldn't be like really upset if we don't get a ghost. Because there's guys that I saw that bought cases and didn't get ghosts, so those people we should feel really bad for, but still. Hopefully, my luck can be better than what other people lost in. Because I, I, I don't think I've seen the live stream yet of like Team Samurai, but I don't think they've even pulled, I don't think he's pulled a ghost here yet. I could be wrong, but from the videos I've seen, I didn't think he pulled one yet. Time Thief Double Barrel. I'm just gonna set that one aside. Just cause we're running out of sleeve. So we got a Salvage, Time Thief Bezel Ship, Time Thief Retrograde, Sunny Lundry, and Starry Night Rayel. 
And if you guys, I don't remember, but what is the next set that Starry Nights? Is it Lightning Overdrive that's getting Starry Night support? More Starry Night support? I can't remember. We'll definitely be opening it once it comes out. Um, I can't remember. What's the newest set? I wasn't that excited about it. I didn't have that much that I was looking forward to, but we'll see if, um, hold on. Nope, nothing. We'll see what other cards are in it. I have to look at the set list because I've not actually pre that one at all. But it didn't seem like one I was really excited to open. I'll probably just buy one booster box and be done with that set. Um, but it might be the one, if it's the one with the Stardust in the new Black Rose card, we'll definitely be opening that one. I just can't remember if that one's Lightning Overdrive or the other one that's coming out. So, those are cards I'll definitely want to pull. Okay, come on. Give us a ghost. I don't have to really fuck this or screw up this pack to get to this one. There we go. So we got Hoyo, Zenryu, Cosmo, Dark Lady, Salvage, Time Thief, Bezel Ship, and a Heretic Sky Dragon, Overlord of Heliopolis. So still, not lead. Come on. Like, the thing is, like, if I'm not going to pull a grocery, I just want a bunch of remises because. I can at least sell them and uh, get some more money so we can buy some more products. Oh, sweet. First of Time Thief Retrograde, Sun Evelyn Dry Days, Dragoonity Oblique, Heretic Dragon of Set, and Star Knight Rael. I'm almost getting to the point where I'm just opening and like, oh, there's not going to be a ghost in there. Re what will get me really excited if there's a link, because I think it's a very, I don't know if there is a link that appears as the last card besides Ghost Rares. I could be wrong. Uh, so we have Metal Flows Fusion, Mass Change, Meta Doce, Fresh Sistart, Start, Gear Town, and our Raid Raptor Tribute Waning on this. Okay, so we gotta open up another one of these. So these ones have been a little bit slower than some of the other ones I've opened. So hopefully the luck can get a little better. I think this is going to be the one. I've got a good feeling about this one. So let's see. Am I right? Not the pack, just in this mini box. I have a good feeling about it. Okay. All right. So we got Metal Foes, Volflame, Heretic Seal of Supremacy, Heretic Dragon, Tefnuit, Heretic Sun Dragon, Overlord of Heliopolis, and not what we were looking for. So let's see. Let's see. These two. This is the box I'm calling. It's gonna happen. Okay. Sunvine Healer. Time Thief Flyback. Hoyu Zenryu. Cosmojo. Galaxy Eye Cypher X Dragon. Very cool artwork, but not the card we're looking for. Alright. Can I be right? This is the last one of this mini box. Come on now. Please be in here. Right. So we got Sunseen Gen Genius Loki, Galaxy Eye Cypher Blade Dragon, Metal Foes Mithrilium, Artifact Durandal. Ah, oh, Vampire of the Void. So I was wrong, wasn't in that box, so maybe it'll be in one of the other ones. So this is our last mini box of this display. And I haven't decided. If I'm going to open up the other one yet, or if I'm going to wait, we'll see. I'll know by the end of this mini box what I'm going to do. Because I don't know if I'm going to be able to get any more ghosts from the past. So I might want to save them to, you know, not open all my ghosts from the past within like the first two weeks of it releasing. And then not be able to get any more. So let's see. Hopefully we just pull a ghost there and then we'll just open up the rest of it. Because that's really all I'm looking for. Okay, come on. So we got Time Thief Retrograde, Sun Avalon Dry Days, Dragunity Oblique, Heretic Dragon of Esset. Ah, Dragunity Whirlwind. Alright. 
Come on, Dark Magician. Give us something. Give us a Dark Magician, please. Or any any ghost. I'll take any ghost. Okay. Metal Foes Fusion. Mass Chain. Metadoce Fresh to Start. Gear Town. Here's the card. Ah, Shooting Star Dragon TGEX. Not a bad pull, but obviously this set is all about the ghosts. That's all you're really looking to get in this set for collecting. Obviously, there's fight cards as you want if you're building decks and stuff, but for collectors, literally, that's all you're looking for. Okay. Metal Foes, Volflame, Heretic Seal of Supremacy, Heretic Dragon, Tefnui, Heretic Sun Dragon, Overlord of the Heliopolis. Will it be? Starry Night Ceremony. I think I'm going to save the other one, guys. Um, I don't want to go through all my ghosts from the past that I have left because I don't know how much more of it I'll actually be able to find. I've already been looking at my local places and really can't find it. So I think I'm going to save it for another video just so we have another opening for it and I don't open it all now. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Really didn't pull much. This is a pretty bad opening, but it's still a fun set to open. So hopefully we can do better in our last, probably our last Ghost in the Past opening. But um, have a nice day, guys, and subscribe.